Hello, welcome to Informatica Support TV. My name is Usha Neppalli from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. The topic I'm going to be discussing today in this video is how to set up connectivity to a NetEase object to profile. The agenda for the video today is set up or install NetEase ODBC drivers, configure the necessary environment variables, create a connection from the administration console or the administrator, import a sample NetEase object, and finally create and run a profile on the object that we just imported. The first step that we need to take care of is to set up the connectivity from the Informatica data quality server side. We need to make sure that we install the NetEase ODBC drivers. These can be obtained from the NetEase slash IBM vendor. Once you install the drivers, we need to set the following variables so that the drivers are accessible by the Informatica data quality services. The first one is ODBC home, which is set to the ODBC installation directory. The next one is ODBC INI, which is set to the ODBC.ini file. The next one is NZ ODBC in ePath, which is set to the directory that contains the ODBC.ini file. And finally, the LD library path or the library path and to the existing values that you have in this, we need the we need to add the NetEase ODBC driver path that we just installed. Once the variables are set, we can go ahead and create a sample DSN entry in the odbc.ini file. These are the sample variables that I have set in my environment. In my environment, ODBC home, which is pointing to the ODBC 7.0 under Infa home, which is where my driver manager resides. And then ODBC ini is pointing to the odbc.ini file, which happens to be in the same directory as the ODBC 7.0. And then NZ ODBC in path is pointing to the ODBC 7.0 because that's where my ODBC.ini file resides. The ODBC.ini file can reside in any directory, including the user's home, as long as it's accessible by the Informatica services. And then finally, the LDL library path is, has a set of variables, set of values or libraries that are already set. And at the end, I add home, UNEPL, NZ ODBC 603, lib64 which is the directory which holds my NetEase library. And this is a sample DSN entry that I have in the odbc.ini file. This is the DSN name. It's a logical name that can uh, be named as, as you wish. And then I have the driver with a complete path, including the library name, which is libnzodbc.so. And then I have the server name, which is my NetEase server name, and then the database name and the rest of the credentials. I'm going to move over to the demo now. This is my server side where I have my Informatica data quality services installed. And I have installed my NetEase ODBC drivers here in this path, home, UNEPL, and the ODBC 603 lib64. And if you do an ls-l here, you will see the library lib and the odbc.so. And And these are the variables that I have set. My NZ ODBC in path is pointing to the directory which hosts my ODBC.ini file. The ODBC in is set to the actual file itself. And then my ODBC home is set to the driver manager directory, which is ODBC 7.0 under the Informatica data quality services home directory. And then uh, for the li LD library path, at the end, I have my home UNAPL NZ ODBC 603 lib64, which is where my NetEase ODBC libraries are installed. This is pretty much it. And uh, let me show you the sample ODBC.ini file I have. And this is my contents of the ODBC ini file. And this is the sample DSM that I had created for the NetEase database connectivity. I have my driver pointing to the full path, including the libnzodbc.so library, the server name, and so on. So this DSN name is important because this is what we need to use as the connect string when we create the connection from the administration console. Uh, once we set up this DSN in the odbc.ini file and all the variables are set properly, we need to make sure that the 
Informatica data quality services are restarted. If the variables are set on the fly, the services do not pick them up. The services have to be restarted once you set the variables, and only then they are picked up. Now we switch over to the administration console or the administrator where we create a new connection to the NetEaser database. I am in the connections tab and I choose actions, new connection. And for NetEaser type, we have to use ODBC connection type. There is no native NetEaser connectivity for profiling currently. So the only option that we have is ODBC. You can see other options like DB2, Oracle SQL Server, and so on. But for Netiza and a few other third-party databases, the only option is to connect using the ODBC type. I give it a name. And then I give my username and password. And then the connect string. This is the entry that I have in my DSN in the odbc.ini file, the, the name should match exactly as I have there. Let me show you once again. It is nz sql clavy. And then next. If you need to at any of these, you can feel free to do so. And then I choose support mixed case identifiers. And then the ODBC provider is other, which because it's the vendor is uh, an Informatica or Netisa. And then finish. My connection is created. Now we're going to go to the Analyst tool and go ahead and import the object using this connection that we just created. I'm connected to my analyst tool here. And I'm going to choose a sample project into which I'm going to import my table, new table. I choose the NetEasa connection. This is the one that I just created. This is the one I previously created. Both are pointing to the same DSN to connect to the NetEaser database. Once the table is imported, we're going to profile the, create a profile on this table that we just imported. Which is column, column profiling. I choose this table that I just imported. I can either save or save and run. That's pretty much it. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. And we would love to hear from you. You can contact us by sending an email to support videos at informatica.com or connect to us on Twitter. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.